Uh, I wanted to give you a little demonstration about what goes on with the WVC 1200 microconverters. You see here we've got our array stacked up. These are Tailsun 290s. They're about 39 by 77 inches, so they're pretty good sized panels. They're lightweight, about 50 pounds. I like to finish on them. They actually, they actually are very nice construction. Anyway, we have our custom array mounts. Nothing more than a six by six with an inch and a half pipe. Muffler clamps here, unistrut. And of course we have our board where we can adjust for the different seasons. We got December all the way to June. Right, right there is November. We're gonna run our cabling down through here and then trench that back to the house. But here we have the 1200. And it's nicely pretty warm back here. The thing gets hot. The panels actually get pretty hot too. But you can see an indicator here. We got a blinking green that's uh, searching for uh, maximum power. When it goes red, it's uh, in um, anti-islanding mode. Comes standard with the uh, regular connectors. The panels come obviously just plug and play. Right now it's uh, about high noon. It's about as clear as you're gonna get. And we're generating just over about 900 watts on 290 volt, uh, 290 watt panels. So effectively we're getting about 225 watts per panel. It varies depending on the temperature and obviously the time of day. But that's about uh, what you're going to expect to get with, you know, a little bit of loss. They're not going to ever generate 290 watts. I'm real pleased with the way these work real well. You can tell when they're really functioning at their peak because they hum a little bit, but they do get really warm, hot to the touch. In fact, you don't want to, you can boil water on them almost. But that's my experience with one. Now I have another one over here, and this is number two out of three. I have three total. This number two and the third one, which I haven't mounted yet. I've done uh, testing on the bench with the second one and the third one, and they're both cooked right out of the box. They just, this one puts out about 30 watts, and it doesn't communicate with the uh, software that uh, allows it to, um, you know, keep track of what's going on. Um, this one actually looks like it's might have been open before I received it. I don't know if it was factory fresh, but it you know certainly was wrapped as it was factory fresh. But I have the one over there that's working. It's very very hot, and I have two that aren't. So I'm going to have to send those back, and unfortunately, that's back to China. Uh, these can be found for about 200 bucks a piece, uh, plus or minus a couple dollars. Plus shipping is going to be expensive from China. If they work the way the one works, I'm totally satisfied with them. It's a really nice um, MPPT design. But if they don't work or if that other one fails, then uh, we're gonna we're probably gonna have to go with a different solution. And I like the fact that I can run one inverter for four panels, but um, not if it's not gonna last. And unfortunately, this one just doesn't do anything. The third one I have doesn't do anything either. We'll see about that. I'm still working with the um, vendor. To see about getting replacements anyway that's six panels we're going for a total of 12 we're hoping to get about 3,000 watts total on a sunny day and that should certainly take a chunk out of the electric